How's it going, everyone? And welcome back to Monster Hunter Stories 2, Wings of Ruin. Uh, so our next quest is an invisible enemy, and we are actually going to be fighting uh, Basarios. I think in the last episode, if you guys uh, who ever watched this probably noticed I was calling Basarios Balaris. I could not think of that name, so... Yeah, we're going to be... Uh, the, the invisible enemy they're talking about is a Basarios, who disguises himself as a rock. But first, let's get this quest up here. Hello. Hey, it's Human Rider. I wish I could go on adventures with monsters like you do. I'd rather travel and make friends with monsters than stay back here as monst making monsty beds. Whoa, so you and your monsties are gonna try and take care of the raging Azurus together? Sure, why not? Wow, thank you. Yay, you can find Azurus and. Alakala. Good luck out there, Ryder. No problem. We actually took a Zerus out already, so it's going to be kind of easy peasy. I do have some eggs. And speaking of Zerus, I did get an Azurus. So I have him added to my party, which is nice. And I just need another speed monster. It's kind of uh, farming for equipment, if you didn't notice. I got a new gun lance. I also got a new sword that I'm trying to max out. It's not as good as the sword I have right now. And I also have a new hammer. Oh, and that other quest we have up here. Let's go do that real quick. That's really simple. That is a quiz. I say that and I'll probably fail epically. And I'm going the wrong way. Take this Kitty's little quiz. Training is essential in the pursuit of strength. You're training, aren't you, young rider? Now I'll see if you've kept your ears perked up and your claws sharp. Ready for a quiz? Perfect. Let me know when you're ready. Okay, was that to talk to him again to take the old quizzo? Perfect. Let's put your knowledge to a test. Question one, which of these items makes a monster more likely to retreat from battle? That is a paintball, folks. Correct, paintballs are great. But remember, they only last for three turns. Hairballs on the other paw. Question two, which of these items works well on flying monsters? And that is a sonic, nope, flash bomb. I almost got that wrong. Not bad at all. That's right. Flash bombs can bring aerial monsters crashing down to Earth. Okay, last question. Hope you're prepared for the final question. Which item deals damage to monsters regardless of their hardness? That is a barrel bomb. I'm impressed. You got them all right. You make you sure know your items. I'll think of some extra hard questions the next time. That's some easy zenny to complete. Okay, now we can go on to Hasgar I Mountains, or Rocky Hill. Apologies. It's been a while. I came here with Red once. You came here with Red? It was a long time ago. He and I had only just met. Don't hold out on us. Give us the deets. You want to hear about your grandpa too, right? From a very young age, Red was quite popular with the villagers. They all wanted to spend time with him. Even though I didn't show much interest in him. For some unknown reason, he followed me around all the time. Hey, wait up, Alwyn. Stop following me. You and your little entourage really get on my nerves. Oh, come on, I just want to... Whoa! Uh, ouch! Huh? A monster! Over here! It disguised itself as a boulder. That was close. 
What, what are you doing? Thank you, Alwyn. Thank you? Of course! You just saved my bacon! All I'd done was chase away a monster. An easy feat. I couldn't understand why he'd thank me. Hey, it's only natural to thank someone for helping you, right? All I did was chase away a monster. <laughs> You're a real funny one, aren't you, Alwyn? Come on. We need to find where it's hiding. Huh? Huh? Oh. Oh. Yeah, the monster may be hiding those rocks. Choose one and inspect it with care. And damn it, now I'm hungry for bacon. Okay, let's check for some rocks. Ah, looks like there's a catavan stand there, but I want to check it out. Sure, why not? I mean, it does help us travel faster. As you thought, we made it to Har's Guy Rocky Hill. Let's check these rocks now. I do know which one it is, but we might as well check these because we do get some loot, like a waystone or a whetstone. That's. This rock's kind of a weird shape, don't you think? Looks inviting. Maybe we should take a load off? Hmm? Wait. You shouldn't sit on that. I'm pooped. Just a little break isn't gonna hurt. Check me out. <laughs> huh, I thought so. Looks like we found our monster. Okay, buddy, let's do it. Time to ride on. The Serios have a hard outer shell. Blunt tax will work best here. Sounds like it's time to break out the hammers and hunting horns, buddy. Okay, let's listen to that advice and switch our weapons to a hammer. I'm not a level one hammer, but actually does the most damage out of all my blunt weapons, so we are good here. And I believe he is a technical monster, so we'll start off with power. Let's bring out Yoglin, my Azurus, for his debut. Okay, guys, let's do this. Okay, shock, that's gonna embarrass me. You had to pick a speed attack. Can't wish I did more damage than 43. These shocks are gonna get down if he's not careful. Okay, it looks like he's gonna attack either me or a Yoglin. So let's do our double attack on him, hopefully. Apparently not. Okay. Good job, Alwyn, and uh, giving Shock some potion. Double attack. Yogan goes in for the booty pounce. Man, Alwyn, just wait a second. We could probably join you. Of course, he's not going head to head against either of us. A little honey power. Fangs. 
Nice. Still seems like we're not doing very much damage against this. Oh, it ran away. I like a wuss. Well fought, my friend. I actually need a Basarial so I can actually upgrade some weapons and my armor. Yeah, but I do want to fight this gentleman here. The Tetsu Cobra. He does open some weapons and armor, obviously. So it'd be good to fight him. Sadly, we can't use him as a monster, though. He's actually a pretty cool monster. I believe he attacks power? We'll try that. Hind legs are kind of like a frog. I didn't notice that. That's kind of cool. Okay, here's the. What am I just attacking all in? Oh, he is power attack, dude. I'm correct. All in. Come on, dude. And yes, I'm still in search of a nether speed monster. Currently, Rain Mars Model 1. Okay, I don't know if you want to do that, Shaw. Whatever. Take some time and use a skill. Oh, sure. Pulls out the giant rock just as I do my skill. I see. Yeah, that's gonna do crap against him. They have to go to blunt now. Sure, that rock. You guys are fine. But I did a lot of damage. I did very little. Noise. Yeah, you gotta reach your next area to investigate some more rocks. Okay, we have made it to the next section. To investigate some rocks. And, and that one did tell us that there's some telltale signs. And with the materials appear as uh, there'll be less moss on his his back. I so you can tell which one is which. Or those are not what we're looking for. Here, see if there's any. Oh, there's a monster. We don't need to fight him right now. Fight quite a few of those guys, so I don't need his parts. Okay, so like out of here, this middle one is our target. We'll grab these first, though. Nope, this isn't the rock we're looking for. I know that. Watch out, something's here. <laughs> He's just waiting there like You woke me up any surprise attacked us Man my armor is only level one, but actually does a pretty good job of uh, protecting me 
Okay, bringing Yoglin in again. And Yoglin is not a rare one. I was kind of, I was hoping to find a rare Azurus, and I did find two Azurus eggs, but neither of them were rare. So, got what we got. Oh yeah, I don't know why I used piercing. Okay. Back to my hammer. Okay, yo, let's do this. Yeah, it appears we're not doing any damage to his body. It's because he is gonna run away again, that's why. Now with the trying to poison us first. Oh shit, I gotta watch my health. I guess he's gonna ride. Ride on! Let's do a kinship skill. Actually, he is targeting Yoglin, so we're gonna see if we get to level two without him escaping. Okay, see if this level two will allow him to escape. Nope, he's still holding strong. Come on, he left. Get back here! How can it move so fast with a body that big anyway? Determination, man. Determination. Got away more than likely it's hiding among the rocks again. Oh, well, I guess we'll have to just find it again. Yeah, determination, man. Make anybody run fast. We have four people beating the shit out of you. You'd run fast, too. Alright, I shouldn't say the S word. Whooping your ass. Nope, we don't need to fight you guys. There's Zerus, we don't need to fight him. Ah, looks like there's a caravan staying nearby. I want to check it out. Why not? Yeah, we got that unlocked. Some of these rocks seem a little strange. Let's search around here. Actually, quite a few. Clearly the final battle arena is it's a giant open area. Sort of. No, this is regular boulder. I know that. Yikes, behind you, buddy. And he was just waiting there like a creeper. Yeah, we're not letting you get away this time. You can break through its stomach's outer shell. You'll expose its vulnerable side. Crunchy on the outside, chewing the inside, huh? Wow, you know all kinds of cool stuff. Save the compliments for later. Kind of the battle. Yes, let's do that. Yeah. Yep, now we can open it up. And I'm an idiot. At least I'm doing a double attack. Okay. Weapons don't work, try using a barrel bomb to flip damage regardless of monsters' defenses. Sounds like a good advice to me. Bombs away. Okay, we got three barrel bombs. Or bombs, sorry. Uh, actually, let's try that right now. Yeah, I think I need to step away further than that. I literally take a bounce back. I'm blowing myself up.
I don't know why they're attacking the wings. My hammer out. Have it on. Bear, 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 bear. Change to Yoglin. Get out of the 18s here. Nice, your attacks should start making a difference. Uh, give that thing what for. Oh, he's pissed. He's gonna whoop somebody's ass now. Looks like he's targeting Yoglin. Okay, Yoglin, I am have to give you some potion. Okay, if he's pissed, I think he's a power monster now. So actually, I should probably change to Ranmar. That looks broken. Try his head. Kinship skill, because I'm actually not even sure what he is. It looks like his wings are about broke. We'll just do it on that. Body's broken. Um, you know his head is weak to blunt. Maybe he's mad to just spew skills like his gases. Holy crap! Okay, he is attacking me. Yep. Definitely have to give myself and the team some health. Still may not be enough. Good job, Ranmar. Hey, slap the crap out of me. And now he's attacking all in. Oh, he is technical now since he's not mad. The yoga, let me come back out. Ranmar, you go burn in private. Oh, geez, I didn't realize my health was almost gone.
and he's attacking me, but I have no choice but to use an item then. Everybody's health looks sort of decent. Minus mine. Man, I should wore anti-burn stuff. I do have that armor still. Oh well. Uh, is he attacking me? Yeah. Screw it. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna win this head to head. We're slowly dwindling his health from his head and his tail down. And now it's mad. Again. His kinship skill. What's his tail's worse off? Okay, all win. I don't know if you're making the right choice. I actually think he's speed or power now. Uh, I'm gonna switch weapons. Focus on his tail. He has power, like I said. Jeez, Yogan, he did barely did any damage. Probably because he's a power monster fighting a power monster right now. Almost still fighting the um head or body, which already destroyed. Change wep or yeah, let's change monsters actually. Let's bring in Ranmar. Please, Ranmar, pick speed. Thank you, bud. Take care of his tail. That didn't break it? Oh, nice. Mission complete. Whew. Now I can sit on any rock I want without worrying I'll come to life. Whew. That was a close one. Looks like we're getting stronger. And we track down the mystery monster to boot. Now they are sure to admit we've got what it takes. Let's head back and tell them all about it. Okay, we are gonna head back, tell them about our success, and then we'll learn about the right of channeling. And then we should be good for the episode. Okay, turn this quest in. I actually do need to do it like at least one or two more Basarios so I can upgrade my weapons and armor like I said. But I'll probably do that off recording obviously. Okay, Elder, Elder, we're back. Zealot, we're back. And the monster? He is taken care of. It was a Basarios disguised as a rock. You're sure? Without a doubt. So, you ready to admit how great my buddy is now? I may have been there to support them, but they put a stop to the beast by their own power. They fulfilled their duty as riders admirably. Hmm. I trust Alwyn's judgment. What do you say, Elder? Then it would seem the time has come. Yeah! I knew you could do it, buddy! 
The rite of channeling is a secret ritual that helps draw out a monster's hidden strengths. By combining the power of two monsters, you can awaken your monster's latent abilities. You will learn better if you try it for yourself. Come to the stables. Come to the stables. Yeah, we will do that. Finally, old man, he teaches me how to do the right of channeling. Okay, yeah, the right of channeling can awaken new skills by transferring genes. Okay, it's time to select the right of channeling. Okay. Uh, right of channeling abilities to transfer genes from one monster to another, granting new abilities. Right of channeling can perform at the stables. Essentially, you could give like your Xerus like ice breath if you wanted to. Kind of cool. It choose one monster to pass on the genes and another to inherit them. Let the monster inherit the genes. Okay, you know, since Yoglin's not a rare one, I'm gonna check or select him. Next up, the monster you pass on the genes. Uh, choose carefully, the monster you select will leave you after the rite is complete. This time, you can use my Aptanoth. Okay, select which monster will inherit the gene and which will channel it. Inheriting monster will be granted a new ability, making it stronger. The channeling monster will display after the after the ritual. Monsties currently in your party or added to favorites cannot be selected for channeling. Okay, choose him. Select the new gene you wish to pass on from the Apnoth to your monsty. Okay, genes can be transferred to another monsty. If it has open gene slots, more slots can be unlocked with items or by leveling up. First, select the gene to channel. Next, select the open gene slot. Then, the new gene is saved in the slot. The monster will gain new ability. Only one gene can be channeled from each monster. Uh, gene color indicates element. The pattern indicates type. A uh, lineup genes of the same color or pattern horizontally, vertically, or diagonally for a bingo bonus. That will make your monster even stronger. You can have multiple bingo bonuses in effect at the same time. Stack genes of the same type to upgrade them and strengthen their effects. You will upgrade genes at maximum two times. Nice. Okay, so all you have to choose from is healing gene, recovery gene, or soothing gene. Uh, I think we will go soothing. Chances are I will override this gene anyway. Right. Yeah, the right chain has awoken a new ability in your monster. The more you're, you perform the right with your monster, the stronger it can become. Visit the stables anytime you wish to perform the rite of channeling. Mastering the rite of channeling is an important milestone for any rider. This is gonna open all kinds of doors for you, buddy! You'll be able to go to new places, do new stuff! I can't wait to see where you go from here! Zellert, uh, sir. Hmm? What is it? It, it I like how Naru answered. Matter, sir. What should I do? You again. I'm no coward, sir. Really, I'm not. I know I need to go search for it, but... But... I'll go if I have to, but... I, I get so scared just thinking about it. Hey, what are you so freaked out about? My daughter lost a special stone in Alcala Cave a while back. She asked me to go and get it back for her. But there's a young Garuga in that cave. What am I supposed to do against a creature like that? Is that really all you're scared of? Well, no. It's also the idea of failing my daughter. 
How could I ever look her in the eye if I messed this up? If anything, that thought is even more scary. I see. Well, there's no need to fret, mister. We can handle the monster for ya. That should free you up to find the stone and get out safe, right? Wow. You mean it? That way I'll be able to face my daughter again. Sheesh. You're a real number one dad. What do you say we get this show on the road? Next up, I'll call a cave. Yan Garuga are awfully fierce. You shouldn't take them lightly. You seem to be familiar with this area now. Alcala Cave is past the Highlands. I'll mark it on your map. I have a feeling that guy is not going to get any bravery in time soon, so it's up to us to deal with this Yayan Garuga. And I still happen to need a Yayan to uh, upgrade, I think, my hammer, I believe. After completing numerous trials, you are finally granted permission to go write a channeling, a ritual that awakens hidden power of kinship. Further yourself as a writer, you decide to help a Wyvarian who came to Zellard with a problem. Yeah, I don't know if you noticed too, I did change my hairstyle, but I'm actually thinking about going back to the fro. I kind of miss it. But that'll be for next episode. Uh, so I just want to, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for watching, and I hope I brought you just a little entertainment. If I did, I hope to see you in the next one. Till then, folks, bring joy and not hate to the world. Bye!